What is up? Good afternoon, my beautiful people. This is Belle. Happy Monday. Hope everyone is doing well. So, um, just wanted to come on here really quick for a quick word. And when things like this is on, like, on my mind, I get, like, the jitters. And I just have to let it out. And I know that when it's something that it needs to be shared and I don't share it, I get this nut right right here. It's not in my solar plexus. So <clears throat> here it goes. For those of us that are in the process and taking the initiative to heal ourselves, and we tend to focus on the things that are surrounding us that are no longer serving us when it comes to people, places, and things. That is just one way and a part of the healing process. It not, it's not just the end. There are layers upon layers that you have to go through and those layers that you push through that you break through you're going to notice that after all of that letting go you come to yourself and there is nothing else behind you so once you turn around and see that there's nothing there it is just you then that is when the real work comes in the real work comes in when you ask yourself questions about how am I contributing to the world? What am I bringing to the table? What, what is my existing, my existence doing here? How am I helping to improve the world or am I Am I just taking space in the chaotic realm? Like I mentioned in my previous post, it's one thing to get rid of the people that hurt you, but are you yourself doing the hurt? Did you and that friend or you and that certain person part ways, not because of them, but is it also because of you? You need to understand that not everyone is out here to get you. There's a lot of problems that happens in your life, not because of the other person, but because of your own doings. And for a lot of us, it's a hard pill to swallow, but if you want to heal correctly, and actually do the healing healing you really need to swallow that pill because we need to come into the understanding that we are not one-sided beings we are multifaceted therefore we carry a lot of energy within us not just the love but we also carry the hatred we carry the fear with that being said we're not only here if we are aware of ourselves, you notice that we're not only here to do good, but in turn, we're also here to do bad. And a lot of us, including myself, I've been here, done that. This is why I'm saying it so clearly and without a doubt. We tend to point fingers outside of us want to point fingers at the next person, want to point fingers at society, want to point fingers at the group of people when we ourselves are contributing to the society that we so-called hate, that we so-called want to get rid of. But then we don't want to point fingers at ourselves and ask ourselves, how are we contributing? How are we taking this space within the society that we no longer want to be in? The relationships that you want to, you know, pull your chains out of, of relationships take 
two sides. You have a relationship within yourself. You have a relationship with other people. When you part ways, it's not just because you want to get rid of other person. It could just be that the other person wants to get rid of you. Am I making sense? Your purpose here in life is not just about living a good life. But with also living a good life, you need to understand the ways that you come about it. How you're going to get there. The action, the actions that we take, every single action that we take is impacting someone, is impacting strangers, is impacting yourself. We can't say just he say, she say, but what did you say? Or what did you not say? that affected the events, the happenings, your emotions, his or her emotions. Once you start, <clears throat> excuse me, once you start looking within yourself and come to the realization that the doings that you do may be hurting other people as well. And that is when you start really correcting yourself for what it is or for what it's not. And that is a true self alchemy here because we cannot expect for the world to change if you is still walking around not correcting yourself for the things that you do. And if you're blindly going around here trying to help other people but you still have a lot of shit inside of you you're not helping that other person <clears throat> you're really not this is why a lot of times now well I came to the realization that because I be stressing right I can't tell the next person not to stress it doesn't sound sincere and it may sound like we want the best for that person, but at the same time, a hurt person cannot help another hurt person. You guys are just hurting together. When you actually do heal, then that is when you can actually bring some light onto someone else. But you also need to understand that light is not always a good thing. There's light everywhere. Social media is a stream of light. The music that you listen to is a stream of light. The gossip is a stream of light. What we're wearing is a stream of light. Everything is light, but it comes from the darkness. So you need to really get in tune with your darkness to see what everything that comes out of you, which you exude, comes from that very place. And you might not like what you see. But this is why we don't hear we don't heal properly, you understand? Because we're scared to go to that place and face ourselves. But once we face ourselves, we will be more aware of what we are entirely. All right? Think about that. I'm going into nine minutes. I'm gonna cut it off short. And if you guys have any comments, you guys can comment down below. Alrighty. Peace and blessings. Take care.